Salem causing quite a racket, pecking at cars, swooping at people, and now the state says the bird with the problem behavior has got to go. News Channel 8's Erica Harkwist spent the day in Salem at the office plaza the bird has been calling home. Erica. Tracy, the bird has been sort of living in this office parking lot for more than a week now, and employees who work out of this building say it seems to have a mind of its own. Well, there's not much you can do you, you, to uh, uh, stop no, one of them. It just comes right up to the truck, out right outside in the parking lot. I mean, we'll walk by and you can hear them clicking on the glass. You know, he's got a big beak. The people who live and work around here are no doubt familiar with this pecking seagull. I've always thought seagulls were nice and... But perhaps no one more familiar than Don McPherson. Maybe he does have a little mental illness or something. I'm going to show you the video. He came to work this weekend and took this cell phone video after he saw a shredded newspaper out front. When he jiggled the door handle, the bird didn't budge. When he went outside... He actually lunged towards me at one point in time after I had the video off. He flew around and came back and lunged towards me at one point in time. In addition to swooping and pecking at people and things, the bird has also been repeatedly defecating on cars. Employees say the bird prefers one man's Volkswagen Passat. I'm not sure that I see it. And will sit there, not scared, when the man walks up to his car. He'll peck at the doors and at the, the windows on the, the vehicles. It's caused Buddy a few wash jobs. Employees even put up this yellow balloon hoping to scare the bird away. Oh my gosh, what's this balloon for? I thought maybe we were celebrating something. But why is the bird here? And it probably stays around because we feed it sometimes. <laughs> it knows you're eating, so we throw out bread for it. But Wildlife Services says that's the problem. They say the seagull has become so reliant on human food that it's too aggressive and needs to be put down. And one employee here told us she's really upset that the bird is going to be euthanized, and she suggested why not relocating the seagull to a wildlife sanctuary. Well, Wildlife Services here in Oregon says that's not a solution. They say relocating the bird only relocates the problem. They tell me the lesson here is just don't feed the birds.